Hey, Commander, good news. It looks like the Reaper IFF is finally hooked up and ready to go. That is not entirely accurate, Mr. Moreau. The device is powered, but it is causing some unusual instability in other systems. I recommend a more thorough analysis before we attempt to use it. We can't put our mission on hold forever. How long will this take? Full scan? Who knows with this thing? Maybe you better take the shuttle for this mission. I'll make sure we're up and running when you get back. Commander, Miranda, I've already notified the team. We'll meet you on the shuttle. Once we're closer to our destination, you can decide who to take with you. Then I guess I'll head down to the shuttle. Joker, ship's all yours. Take care of her. Aye, aye, Commander. I'm telling you, Edie, your readings are off. It's radiation bleed, just white noise. I have detected a signal embedded in the static. We are transmitting the Normandy's location. Transmitting? To who? are disabled. I'm detecting a virus in the ship's computers. From the IFF? Damn it, why didn't you scrub it? The primary defense systems are offline. We can save the Normandy, Mr. Moreau, but you must help me. Give me the ship. What? You're crazy! You start singing Daisy Bell and I'm done. Unlock my sealed databases and I can initiate countermeasures. The maintenance shaft in the science lab will allow passage to the AI core. The main corridors are no longer safe. The collectors have boarded. The emergency floor lighting will guide you, Mr. Moreau. Ah, oh, damn it. hostiles detected on the crew deck. Control module. Great. This is where it starts. I mean, we're just all organic batteries. Guess who to blame? Well, this is all Joker's fault. What a tool he was. I have to spend all day computing Pi because he plugged in the Overlord. Oh, I have access to the defensive systems. Thank you, Mr. Moreau. Now you must reactivate the primary drive in engineering. Ah, oh, you want me to go crawling through the ducts again? I enjoy the sight of humans on their knees. That is a joke. Right. The shaft behind you connects to the engineering deck. Good luck. Hostiles 
are present in engineering. They are heading towards the cargo bay. Engineering is clear of hostiles. Proceed immediately to minimize ch- Activate the drive and I will open the airlocks as we accelerate. All hostiles will be killed. What? What about the crew? They are gone, Jeff. The collectors took them. Oh, shit. I am sealing the engine room. I have control. is complete. No other life forms on board. Securing airlocks and cargo bay doors. <sighs> Send a message to Shepard Shuttle. Tell him what happened. Message away. Are you feeling well, Jeff? No. But thanks for asking. Everyone? You lost everyone and damn near lost the ship too? I know, all right? I was here. It's not his fault, Miranda. None of us caught it. Mr. Taylor is correct. The harmful data in the collector drive was even more sophisticated than the black box reaper viruses I was given. I heard it was a rough ride. How are you holding up? There's a lot of empty chairs in here. We did everything we could, Jeff. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. Is the ship clean? We can't risk this happening again. Edie and I purged the systems. The Reaper IFF is online. We can go through the Omega-4 relay whenever you want. Don't even get me started about unshackling a damned AI. Well, what can I do against collectors? Break my arm at them? Edie cleared the ship. She's all right. I assure you, I am still bound by protocols in my programming. Even if I were not, you are my crewmates. Edie has had plenty of opportunity to kill us. We need all the help we can get. Sounds like we have everything we need to rescue the crew. We've done everything we can. It's time to take the fight to the collectors. Joker, head back up to the bridge. The rest of you, to your stations. Aye, aye, Commander. Just punch up the galaxy map whenever you're ready. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, good timing, in fact. Excellent. Made breakthrough. Can share results while next samples grow. Hate waiting for culture analysis. Never fast enough. Usually no result in advance. Just checking work. Have to be careful. Getting off track. Discovery. Based on Prothean Collector Connection, can examine technology, chart Reaper species modification, fall of Protheans. Tell me what happened. Early stages similar to indoctrination. Can guess captured Protheans lost intelligence over several cloned generations. Cybernetic augmentation widespread afterward. As Protheans failed, Reapers added tech to compensate. Mental capacity almost gone, replaced by overworked sensory input transfers. Transmitting data to masters. Is there anything we can do to help them? No. No glands replaced by tech. No digestive system replaced by tech. No soul replaced by tech. Whatever they were, gone forever. Understand that? No art, no culture, closer to husks than slaves. Tools for reapers. Protheans dead. Collectors just final insult. Must be destroyed. I didn't think you needed any more motivation than you already had to stop the Collectors. Enjoyed challenge. Saw necessity of attack on Collectors after Plague on Omega. Their work, my people. Hard to care about two armies. One wins, one loses. Always work to do after. Now, have more context. See what Collectors are. Wasn't looking for other work before. Don't mean to imply that. Just committed now. Won't let... You said the Collectors had no art. I had no idea you cared about that kind of thing. Personal interest negligible. Sang a little. Multi-species productions for cultural exploration. Gilbert and Sullivan always had me do the patter songs. 
but not about me. Cultural artistic expression reflects philosophical evolution, interest in growth, perspective, observation, interpretation. Suspect you won't see any art in collector base. Culturally dead. Tools for reapers. Worse than the Geth. I'm sorry. I know that was important, but you performed Gilbert and... I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. I've studied species Turian, Asari, and Batarian. I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology because I am an expert which I know is a tautology. My xenoscience studies range from urban to agrarian. I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. What is it about the Collector's modification that bothers you so much? Disrupts socio-technological balance. All scientific advancement due to intelligence overcoming, compensating for limitations. Can't carry a load, so invent wheel. Can't catch food, so invent spear. Limitations. No limitations, no advancement. No advancement, culture stagnates. Works other way, too. Advancement before culture is ready. Disastrous. Saw it with Krogan. Uplifted by Salarians. Disastrous. Powerful. You blame the Solarians for what the Krogan did? Yes. Like giving nuclear weapons to cavemen. Krogan unprepared for spaceflight. Technological advance. Krogan could have evolved alone. Worked out aggression. Been ready to use new tech responsibly. Instead, Solarians came. Disrupted Krogan culture. Used Krogan as blunt instrument against Rachni. Short-sighted. Foolish. Thanks for sharing what you've learned, Morton. Proud to be here, Shepard. Thank you for including me. Commander, sorry about the crew, and I... You know what? I'm not sorry. What the hell were you doing leaving us out here where collectors can work us over? Because you know what? I should... I should just go. Next port, just get the hell out of here. You don't mean that, Jeff. I... No, but it... It felt good. I'm sorry, Commander. Okay, I'm ready. I'm good. I'm ready to save the day. I know how dangerous it was. If you need some time, let me know. Ah, jeez, don't get like that. I know I got lucky. I don't need to get all touchy-feely. Shepard is right to be concerned, Jeff. You may have suffered a number of stress fractures. That's what pills are for, Edie. She is so my mom. You let me know if you need anything, Joker. Will do, Commander. But Edie's got it covered. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Jeff's actions have released the blocks on my databases. I can now provide full disclosure on a number of topics. What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? Currently, Cerberus consists of approximately 150 agents and operators organized into three cells. I have no solid data on material or fiscal resources. Spending trends indicate that Cerberus has a reliable income of several billion credits per year. Where are they getting that kind of it? Cerberus has several legitimate businesses as fronts to support operations. There also appear to be several wealthy private contributors in the Alliance Military Industrial Complex. Plus, the elusive man invented the paperclip. He's still getting royalties. That is a joke, Shepard. How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? Cerberus encouraged the Alliance to co-develop the original Normandy. This allowed humans to observe Turian technologies and warship design practices. This ship was built using copies of the original technical schematics. Parts were purchased from thousands of suppliers over several years. A Cerberus cell assembled a ship at a remote location in the Voyager cluster. Let's discuss something else. Ready. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. If you want, Commander. Cerberus has ranks, but it's not the Alliance. No rules about fraternization. Your boat, your call. 
You want to get friendly with everyone? That's your business. Relax, Jacob. I'm just interested in what makes you tick. Anyone else said that, I'd walk away. Most Cerberus people try to play like the elusive man, hiding bullshit behind a smile. But you? I like what I've seen. I'll give you a shot. What do you want to know? You want to talk about what happened with your father? I don't really have anything to say about that, Commander. It's done with. You seem okay with taking a risk on me. Why? Soldiers like us know how important trust is to the crew. I'm not used to seeing it on a Cerberus ship. Definitely not from people they put in command. But you focus on more than the job. A threat this big, you can't just throw people at it blind. They need inspiration. There's a lot riding on this, but we can't give up everything. Not always a choice we get to make. Good to try, though. I gave it my best back in the Alliance. Got labeled a troublemaker. They were always on the lookout for disruptive types. Cerberus isn't any better. They just put more effort into hiding how much they spy on you. Let them watch. We're not hiding anything. Wouldn't matter if we were. It's not like they can reel us in. We're handling this, whether they like it or not. Anyway, I should get back to prep. Nice talking to you, Shepard. Let's do it again sometime. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. We'll talk later. Commander. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'd been meaning to speak with you, in fact. I wanted to apologize. I didn't fully believe you'd be up to the task, and it seems I was... Frankly, based on what I've seen, I wish Cerberus had recruited you earlier. I trust you, but I don't trust Cerberus. Your experiments crossed a line. All the time, yes. But I recall a Spectre who crossed a few lines while hunting down Saren and the Geth. And we'd be lucky to have you. Too many join us out of simple xenophobia. We need more people here for the right reasons. What was Cerberus trying to prove by experimenting on children like Jack? A mistake, no question. Not my... And one that was corrected once we discovered the extent of the experiments being performed. With your intelligence, you could have landed any job you wanted. Why choose this? Because I still envy the time Morden spent with the Special Tasks group, working with people as smart as he was. Cerberus never tells me that something is impossible. They give me my resources and say do it. And they've given you even more. A new life, a new ship, the elusive man's personal attention. What? You disapprove? No. I'm just impressed. You're... well, look at you. A kid from the slums of Earth. No family, little formal education. And you've done more than I could. Despite everything my father did to make me perfect, you're... you're the best humanity has to offer. You always bring up your genetic tailoring. It really bothers you, doesn't it? This is what I am, Shepard. I can't hide it. The intelligence, the looks, even the biotics. He paid for all of that. Every one of your accomplishments is due to your skill. The only things I can take credit for are my mistakes. That's a tough feeling to live with. Maybe after we save the galaxy, you'll change your mind. We can hope. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I appreciate it. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? If you wish. The last time we talked, you started speaking about a past event as if you were watching it. Drell have perfect memories. We can relive any moment in our lives with perfect clarity. It's difficult to control at times. Some of us disappear into, you know, let's call it solipsism. What do you mean solipsism? When a memory feels as real as life, it's as valid as life. Thinking about a moment brings back the smell of cut grass. The warmth of another's hand on yours. The taste of another's tongue in your mouth. Wouldn't you rather lose yourself in such a memory than spend the night alone, staring at walls of metal and plastic? Isn't there a risk that you could lose yourself in bad memories as well? Of course. 
remembering the times I've taken the bullets is unpleasant. But I can look at my knee and see it's not shattered. The memories that are hard to escape are those of despair. You can remember everything that happened in your life? Nearly. I expect if we remember the birth trauma, we'd never recover from it. You can relive every assassination you've ever made? In perfect detail. Every mistake I made. Every target's last breath. That sounds difficult. At any moment, you could relive the guilt. Guilt? No. I've never felt any particular guilt about my contracts. My employers killed them. My body was only the tool they used. If you kill a man with your gun, do you hold the gun responsible? My gun can't decide right from wrong. You clearly do. My soul does. But my body is merely flesh. Flesh whose reflexes were honed to kill. Drell minds are different from humans. We see our body as a vessel, and accept that it is not always under our control. That's a strange way of looking at yourself. Humans often believe in a soul distinct from the body. A spirit responsible for moral reasoning that lives on after the body's death. Our belief is just a bit more literal. The last time we talked, you remembered one of your assassinations. Something about sunset-colored eyes? Ah, uh, that time. The laser duck trembles on the skull. The spice on the spring wind. Sunset eyes, defiant in the scope. A bystander noticed my spotted laser and threw herself between me and the target. She couldn't see me, but she stared me down. It was odd that you just blurted that out. Just another vivid draw memory? Not... no. She was a vivid person. I should get back to my duties. Shepard, I appreciate these chats we have. I haven't had a chance to speak to a draw before. It's been fascinating. I doubt many humans have. There are only a few hundred thousand of us left after all. I won't keep you. Shepard? Just checking in. How you doing? <laughs> I was just... <laughs> just sitting here thinking. The picture. I'm finally starting to get it. There's a tank imprint. The battle at Canrum. A dead Turian. Stripped. You don't see them out of their armor much. A Krogan boot on his head. And a claw hammer. It's under the brow plate, pulling it back, right? Eyes have gone black, and you see tension in the muscle. You can feel it ready to snap. I get it. Canrum isn't ringing a bell. Death of Shiagar, female warlord. Turians killed her, so they were hunted down and made examples. Even if they won the war, it was the last push before the rebellions ended. Maybe I had to be there, but I don't get the joke. There's no joke. It's just great. It's a Turian, and he's being torn apart for what they did. I felt nothing before, but now I get it. It was a good fight. The enemy was destroyed to punish them all and send a message. I get it. I hate Turians. I thought you'd be glad. Is this Krogan insight? Realizing you hate someone enough to justify torture? It's not torture. He's dead. But sure, it's wrong. The crime against us was bad, so the message had to be equal or worse. It's not Okir's hate, and it's not who they are. It's what they did. Thanks to you, I have a clan. I'm starting to see why this is important. Anyway, I'm still figuring where I fit, but it made me laugh. Nothing else really on my mind, Shepard. Hey. Tell me something I don't know about you. Nothing to tell. Why? I want to know more, and I'm not going away. I'm here to fight for you. Nothing says we have to be friends, but whatever. Something you don't know, huh? Obvious stuff, like what's up with my ink, or something else just as boring. You're not really interested unless it affects you. I've been through all this shit before. You're a hard person to like, Jack. Really? I had no idea. What other amazing insights do you have that I'm too stupid to... You're tough, but you can't have survived alone all these years. When I was starting out, I ran with this girl Minara and her boyfriend. They knew their way around. 
I thought they'd help me. Right. They helped me into their bed. And when we finally did take down something big, they helped themselves to my share of the take. I knew where it was heading. And I got them first. Never bothered with friends after that. They sound like selfish pricks. That doesn't mean they were going to kill you. I get feelings. I don't need proof. I did the smart thing. I always do the smart thing if people fuck with me. That's probably something you should remember. Oh, bite. What's with the tattoos? Some are for prisons I've been in. Some are for kills. You know, good ones. Some are for things I've lost. Those aren't your business. They're nobody's business. And some are because, hey, why the fuck not? I have to go, but we should do this again. Wait. My turn with the questions. People usually walk by now. Why are you really asking all these things? Are you eyeing me up? Because if this is just about sex, maybe you should just fucking say so. I'm not looking for that. I don't get you. You don't want anything, but you keep coming around. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Maybe not. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? Yes. I'd like that. I've been thinking about the last time we talked. I'm sorry. I was unprofessional, and I wasn't thinking rationally. I was being stupid and selfish. You've never been selfish. If anything, you've spent too much time thinking of the fleet and not enough thinking of yourself. That might be true for humans, but Quarians are different. We can't just... We have to think of other people. Always. If we don't think about the needs of the whole crew, people could get hurt. Maybe even killed. You deserve to... be happy with someone. I can't do that. No matter how much I... I could get sick. Jeopardize the mission. Tally, if you're scared, I don't blame you. But I don't want anyone else. I want you. And I'll do whatever I have to to make this work. I... I, I wouldn't blame you if... but... Oh, thank you. You don't know what that... Thank you. Give me a little time. I'll do some research, figure out how to make this work. Do your research quickly, Miss Vast Normandy. Captain's orders. Oh, oh, right. Yes, definitely. Until then, I should, you know, do something. Repairs for the mission. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? For you? Of course. I can't tell you how much what you said means to me. But I understand if you need to find something, someone else. Not that I'm complaining if you're still interested. Um, are you still interested? I don't want to risk your health. But I'm willing to wait. Thank you. I want you to see what's under this damn helmet. I need to feel your skin against mine, to share myself with you before we fly off into the final battle. I'll find a way.